Hey guys, it's Codex947, and uh, you're probably wondering why uh, we are currently in the middle of a firefight. Uh, it's because I messed up royally. Um, so basically, I went to go record, and I had about 13 minutes um, of gameplay when my girlfriend called me, and so I paused the game. And I went to, uh, you know, go to unpause it, and I realized that I hadn't hit the record button on my recording software. So, there was about 13 minutes of gameplay that's now missing forever. And my second game wasn't anywhere close, so this is actually past this point. Uh, but anyway, it wasn't anything important. All that happened was... Uh, Catherine was kidnapped after rescuing us, and after fighting through a lot of enemies. Um, and my only issue, though, is that we missed a really cool uh, TMD pulse area, uh, where you get knocked off a ledge by uh, one of Demichev's soldiers, and you have to use the repulse thing, otherwise you get knocked off. So, but that's really about it. Um, I didn't feel like... It was super important. I'm glad that I did uh, realize that I hadn't hit play at all because, you know, we're coming up to a pretty important part of this whole game. So, anyway. Uh, so these are, also, these are new soldiers that we did not, uh, that we encountered during that 13 minutes that are unfortunately no longer with us. Uh, and they are elites. Uh, soldiers, they aren't too different other than they are a lot uh, more heavily armored and they also carry these auto cannons, which is what we are using right now. And this is probably my favorite gun in the whole game. It is just ridiculously accurate, shoots ridiculously fast, has a ridiculous amount of damage, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful gun. But, uh, so that's pretty much everything. Also, I. I think I upgraded a couple of other things, but that was about it. Uh, so I'll show them. I made a point to make sure that I pause so I could show them off when I get to that point. I think in either the next episode or the episode after that. So I'll make sure that I show those off. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out these soldiers, and then we go around here. And all there is is just a health pack. TMD blueprint for energize, gain TMD energy for each kill. So I guess if you're a heavy user of the TMD, that can be pretty helpful. But I really don't find myself using it that much. Um, just like how in Bioshock, I never really found myself using the, uh... Oh, hang on. So anyway, you get this slow motion thing. If you go for this guy like I did, like an idiot, and then you go and you try and shoot him... Catherine will die. He'll shoot her in the head, and then that's it. That's all she wrote. Game makes it act like you died, but, I mean, it's whatever. Anyway, so how about we, we try that again? I felt like I would leave that in there just so you guys can see. And this time I'm like, you know what, just in case, I switch to the Valkyrie. And kill them. Shoot this guy, and then this guy for some reason doesn't even have a bullet in the chamber for his gun. So, you know, like that's just dumb. Who just, who's a soldier who just you walks around without a bullet in his chamber? You know, I understand keep your finger off the trigger and outside the trigger house and stuff, so you don't accidentally fire it. But I don't know, that just bothers me. Anyway, for that we get two bio formulas. We get defensive, uh, it decreases melee damage against you. And we get TMD ammo, increases our E99 vial uh, carrying capacity, which is nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and listen to this audio recording. I am the last of our group. As far as I know, I am the last one alive on this entire island. I tried to get to the train, but the huge creature smashed it like a tin can. I will have to walk to the docks. Damn you, Demachev. All this... Uh, really quick, if you hold down the aiming trigger, 
uh, for the the left trigger for the auto cannon, you will it allows it to spin up, and so that will just allow you to shoot without having to wait for it to warm up, and that can be very useful, especially with uh, a lot of firefights. All right, we gotta go fix that engine. Drop down here. Drop down again. Okay. But is it is it just me or does it look like there's kind of a scope on that when you run? It looks like there's a scope on the side. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But. Alright, so let's walk out here. Health pack. Seeker. Alright, let's help her up. And now, of course, we have to defend her while that's going on. But they gave us a Seeker, so we get this nice thing. I just love the Seeker. I feel... I wish more games had gone to like this. I mean, I know it's nothing new, really. But it's just so much fun. And we get to use the Seeker so much during this... During, like, these next couple areas. Oh, I love it. Also, uh, we now have rocket soldiers, which are really annoying, but thankfully they die in one thing too. I wish the Seeker was a bit more accurate though when he could fire. I mean, I know that's not what it's for, but still. It'd be a nice little touch, you know. And let's heal. And uh, probably one of the coolest things that they have here is this little thing, so we can make that guy retreat. And then, step onto this platform, and then our TMD gets super energized and allows us to revert the whole train back to a, pro back to a point in time where it actually works. And I just love this little addition. I just thought that was such a cool little thing that they did. I mean, it's not... It's just so cool. And there we go. Engine has been repaired, so let's head out.